Hi guys, welcome back to the channel, uh, Ron's Keto Cafe, and I'm Ron. I don't know about you guys, but when you're doing low carb weight loss like I have over the last couple of years or so, it uh, and, and dropping more more than 130 pounds now, I tend to uh, go off plan once in a while, and I uh, I miss certain foods like uh, cheesecake. And uh, I'm going to insert a photograph in the uh, timeline, but when I was, I believe I was 46, my sister asked me, uh, what, what do you want for your birthday? And I told her I wanted a strawberry cheesecake. So she went up to BJ's and she bought me this huge amount of strawberry cheesecake that said 46 on it. And I, I was like only one or two that only ate it. And, and of course she had a regular cake for everybody else. But at that particular time I was losing weight and I felt pretty good. And then I, of course, after that it was all over with the weight loss back then. And, and that was, oh, like at least 10 years ago. So anyways, um, this recipe comes to you from Myra from Low Carb Love, and I'm gonna read off the, the ingredients that uh, we're gonna be using and the amounts. And, uh, for this particular recipe, we'll need one and a half cups of almond flour, and we're using the Blanche Fine Almond Flour from Great Value from our friends at Walmart. A half a tablespoon of sweetener, and we're using confectionate, uh, Potted swerve, a fourth of a teaspoon of cinnamon, four tablespoons of either melted butter or avocado oil or any oil of your choice. And uh, we, we're using avocado oil today because I'm too lazy to melt the butter. And that we're going to do at this point, we're going to mix all everything together with a spatula. And if it's too wet, we can add a little more almond flour to it, about a tablespoon at a time to get it to like a crumbly mixture. And then we have this six inch um, spring pan that we're going to be using. And then what I'm going to do, what I'll do is I'll put the uh, the bottom mixture on top of here, pat it all down into it form like a outer crust around the edge of the uh, pan and uh, bake that in the oven for six to eight minutes under it for uh, 350. And then I'll pop that out, we'll let that cool, and then we'll make the, uh, the batter mixture for uh, the uh, fillings. We use, uh, we're going to be using the Philadelphia cream cheese brand. Everybody's familiar with the brand. It doesn't have to be that brand. It could be a store bar brand or any other brand that you feel comfortable with. We're going to put a fourth of a cup of sour cream in. We have the sour cream out. And the, oh, by the way, the cream cheese is softened. It's been softened for a while now. And then we're going to put a half a cup of sweetener powder sugar in it. Again, the swerve. And it can be erythritol or any other kind of sweetener that you want to put in, but it should be powdered because she said if you use a granular, it's forever. It'll, it'll taste like granularly when you, when you eat it. We're going to put two eggs. My, my eggs have been sitting out at room temperature. One teaspoon of vanilla extract, and we're going to use one tablespoon of a fresh lemon, which we have the lemon over here. We'll cut it and squeeze out about, about a tablespoon, and we're going to and a pinch of salt. And a pinch of salt, we already have that in uh, potted forever. Now I got everything all pre-weighed, so at this point we're going to make the uh, crust filling, and then I'm going to rinse the bowl, and I'll put the cream cheese in the bowl and the other stuff in the bowl, and we'll mix it with the hand mixer. So at that point, when the pie crust is done, we'll take the mixture and put it in the uh, spring form pan that we're going to be using right here. Get the spring here, and we'll pop that into the oven for 40 minutes, and we'll let it come out of the oven. And we'll put that once it's, after when I can touch it with my hands, we'll put that in the refrigerator overnight. Tomorrow we'll put a nice uh, strawberry mixture over the top. Yeah. So why don't, oh yeah, and we're going to be using frozen strawberries, not fresh, and she had used the strawberry jam. So what we're going to do with our particular strawberries tomorrow, we'll throw them out, we'll puree them, and uh, we'll use that, and we'll just kind of like drizzle it all over the top of the cheesecake, and hopefully when we take the uh, ring off of the, the, uh, this particular pan, everything will stay intact, and uh, we'll, we'll slice it up into four slices and have a taste test tomorrow afternoon, and uh, let, let me know what you guys, let me know what you guys think about that, and uh, you know, if you haven't got one of these, I got this on Amazon, but you can get these at Walmart, so just about anywhere. I got these, that this for under $10. Without further ado, let's just go right into the recipe. So today we're making a uh, strawberry cheesecake for low carb weight loss. And uh, what we got going on in our bowl, we got one and a half cups of almond flour. We got a half a cup of sweetener, and we got a fourth of a teaspoon of cinnamon. So now we're just going to take that, and we're going to get it going with a uh, spatula. What I'm just trying to do is get out as many lumps that might be in here. I'm going to move my uh, placemat over there. Okay. 
And if you find it might be too dry, you can add a little more oil to it. And if you find it to be too wet, you can add some more almond flour to it and, or butter if you're using butter instead of the oil. I'm using oil today because I didn't feel like melting any butter. There, I think that's good. Now let's add an oil. Again, we use butter or oil. This is four tablespoons. This is the um, avocado oil. Okay, so this is what we're looking for. It looks like some type of a graham crack crust, see? Because we want to be able to uh, squeeze it down, to pat it down, to form a uh, crust in the bottom of the pan. So what I did, guys, is I, I cut a new piece, and then I sprayed it, and I used that kind of like to hold that in place. Now we're going to make a crust. Hi guys, so our crust is done. As you can see, I uh, formed a little bit of a lip around it, the pan, and I was pe pe pressing it down on it to form a crust. Now we're gonna go bake that off in the oven at 350 degrees for about eight minutes, six to eight minutes. And uh, we're gonna, now we're gonna go ahead and make the uh, cheesecake mixture that'll go on top of it. So uh, without further ado, let's go get this in the oven. Pan just came out of the oven. I had it. I left it on for another minute and a half because I felt that wasn't quite done yet. And I'm happy with it. So we're gonna set that aside. So at this point, we got two uh, blocks of cream cheese, 16 ounces, already softened. And uh, then we're gonna add our one fourth of a cup of sour cream right into it. I have a little more left in the, the uh, container, so just to use it up, I'm just gonna put it right in the, on top of this. You can see my cream cheese is all nice and soft. Okay. Now we're going to add, it doesn't make any difference what order you put this in. I have the uh, powdered uh, confection of swirl, but it's, it's not granulated, so it's powdered. But, but uh, it could be any alley you like that you want. And, this, and I got a pinch of salt in there that just goes right on top. Just digging it all out to make sure I get it all. Two eggs at room temperature, go right on top. One teaspoon of vanilla extract. Let's take that. Got a, I'm gonna use a little bit of lemon. I always run my hand like that to try to like get the juice flowing out of there. One tablespoon of a freshly squeezed lemon. And it's, what we're gonna do is just eyeball it right over the thing until we get the, what we want. Okay, so now that we have that all there, it's just.
Okay, so before we spray that, she said you can, uh, we're gonna take a, before we actually spray that, we're gonna take a, uh, some foil, and we're gonna do this, I'll show you what we're gonna do. We're gonna actually take two pieces of foil, we're gonna crisscross them, and then we're just gonna make like a little crust around it. She said the reason why you do this, because as you're, As you're baking your crust with your filling, what you don't want is you don't want to burn your, your, your crust because this is going to bake for 40 minutes and that'll prevent it from uh, burning. So that's a little trick I learned from Myra. Just like this, see? Let's see, I don't want to tip it upside down, lose my batter. So now let's take that, dump that into there. And that go, that'll go in a 350 oven, which is already preheated and uh, we'll bake it off for 40 minutes. And then we'll let it cool down and we'll put it in the refrigerator overnight and then we'll add our strawberries on top of it tomorrow and we'll have a taste test and see what it tastes like. Okay, so there you have it, our cheesecake. So let's go bake that in the oven at 350 degrees for 40 minutes. We'll pop that out and we'll take a snapshot or photograph or two of that. Let that cool down a little bit and then we'll put it in the refrigerator overnight and tomorrow we'll put the uh, strawberries over that, the puree, and we'll sample it together and hopefully it'll come out of the uh, pan okay without breaking apart. But uh, let me know what you guys think and if you like the video or if you ever made this before and how it came out and uh, I guess my question of the day would be for this particular video, because um, you guys know me as Ron from uh, Loving Keto, Ron's Weight Loss Journey, and you know, now the new name, uh, Ron's Keto Cafe. Does your husband bake for you? And what was the best thing he ever made for you that you didn't expect? And that'll give you something to think about. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel, Ron's Keto Cafe, and I'm Ron. Well, today we uh, got ambitious, actually yesterday was Sunday, and today is Monday the uh, 30th, January, and we wanted to make a strawberry cheesecake. Now, I absolutely love strawberry cheesecake, but when you're trying to lose weight, that's a no-no, and uh, it does pack a ton of calories. So I'm going to get my notes. I made this particular recipe, but I want to make it for quite a while. And I've been researching a lot of YouTubers, and I came across a great YouTube link from Low Carb Love. And uh, this particular recipe, I followed it exactly to the T. And I even had a fresh lemon that I'd gotten. And uh, so what we did with this particular recipe for the crust, we took a cup and a half of almond flour. And it was the Blanche, very fine almond flour from our friends at Walmart's. Half a tablespoon of sweetener, partisan swerve, one fourth table, uh, teaspoon of cinnamon. We stirred it all together. So once we had the, once we got the uh, potted stuff all mixed up, we added four tablespoons of oil. Now we should, she said you could add both the butter, it didn't matter, whatever you feel comfortable with. And then I, what I did with that point, I took the spatula and I kept working it and working it till it got like a graham cracker type 
uh, texture, like a crumbly texture, and then I added just a tiny bit little more of olive oil because I felt like it was too dry. And then what I did was at that point, I uh, got my uh, six inch uh, uh, spring pan, took a piece of, of uh, parchment paper, cut it round to fit to the size, sprayed it with cooking oil around the edge on the inside, and uh, I formed my crust and I made like a lip all the way around the inside of the uh, pie crust for the, the pie, for the pie crust but kind of like a the authentic cheesecake look. Baked that baby in the oven for 350, preheated oven for six to eight minutes. I took my outlet that it rest, and then I made my ingredients for the uh, filling. I took two uh, bottles of uh, Philadelphia cream cheese. It could be any cream cheese of your choice. And I softened, I, I did leave it softened on the counter. And then I took a fourth of a cup of sour cream. That was the store-bought brand. And then I used a half of a cup of powdered sweetener. And she said on that particular sweetener, if, don't use the granulate because it'll take it'll taste granulate. And then I took two eggs at room temperature, a teaspoon of vanilla extract, one tablespoon of a fresh lemon juice. I cut that in half and I squeezed it out in a pinch of salt. And then I took my uh, my handheld mixer and I got it going really, really well until the, there was a nice creamy smooth texture. Then I poured it into the uh, my pan and then I spread it out with the spoon and got it all nice and even and then I popped that into the oven at 350 and then I put uh, some foil around the bottom of the pan before I popped it in the oven so that it wouldn't burn my uh, my crust for my graham cracker crust which is really almond flour and uh, cause traditionally you'd be using a graham cracker crust and because uh, you know we're trying to lose we're still losing weight and we, we want to eat much visually and healthy so um, you know I just want to show you the kitchen <laughs> talking about it but I'm getting hungry so um, what we did was we took some uh, frozen strawberries you can use fresh but it's all frozen and they uh, softened them up and they pureed them and uh, I added a little bit of sweetener into that to the powdered sugar because those are unsweetened strawberries and I got some strawberries for the top for garnish and uh, I don't know if this is going to pop out of the cake pan okay I don't know if it's going to make a heck of a mess but I put two pieces of aluminum foil underneath my uh, my pans because I don't want to make a mess all over the place and I'm going to cut it, slice it, and I'm going to take photographs of it, talk about it, and we're going to actually going to have a taste of it. But I'm going to, right, I'm showing this under my main camera over here, but this is what, I, I covered it with foil overnight and um, take that off. So what happened over here where you see that all caved in. I didn't realize it, but when I grabbed it like that, my finger kind of like hit the top of that, and it kind of like pushed it all in, and I was trying to smooth it all out with the, uh, um, with a spoon, and then I popped it into the refrigerator, and, and it'll be fine, because I'll just cover that up, and uh, I'm gonna be eating it anyways. So why don't we, uh, at this point, this particular camera, I'm gonna flip it down on that side of the table, so you can see from both different angles, and we'll see whether or not it comes out, but. I'm going to take a knife and I'm going to go with a knife all the way around to the far down to the pan as I can go and pop that uh, spring off, off of that pan. Hopefully it'll stay intact. And I don't know if it's going to be an epic venture or an epic failure, but I won't know unless I try. And that's the fun part about cooking, it's trying. I got a butter knife. So what I'm going to do is just go around the, uh, the edge of, like this. Maybe I should have put more cooking spray on this. I think it, it's really, really hard for me to push my knife all the way down to the bottom. I'm not going to be able to get a good photograph out of this, but it's okay because I'm still going to eat it anyways. And I might have a little problem sticking to the bottom, I'm thinking. The next time I have to put a little more cooking oil on it. What I'm trying to do is just trying to break the crust off the side of the... Uh, pan. I don't want to disintegrate my whole cake. I'm 
That's the uh, cheesecake. I had a bite of it. It's really, really good. So, like I said, I don't know. What do you guys think, huh? Is it going to break from the uh, pan with no problem? I really don't know. Maybe I didn't even have to do that. Oh, wow. Look at that. So that's what they look like. This is what before. I'm sure you guys from that angle. What do you guys think, huh? Let me take a photograph of that. So that's what it looks like from this angle. You can see my crust and everything. It set really well. I probably didn't even need to do that, but I wanted to make sure that I didn't have any problems. So at this point, I'm just gonna pour a little bit of strawberries on top. This is kind of like a uh, strawberry jam I made. take the knife and just kind of like go over it what do you guys think huh cool huh let's see how it cuts again I have it on my cutting board and the only reason why I got the foil there is because of the you know the, the messy pot I don't want to make a mess so you cut it this way kind of right through myself hmm. look at that guys huh look at that isn't that cool okay guys so here is the uh, strawberry cheesecake that I made. I uh, explained you how I made that. I suppose you want me to taste this, right? Look at that. This is the real deal, guys. I'm telling you. Nice fresh strawberry. Oh, yeah. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And let me know if you haven't made this before. But I'd just like to thank Myra from Low Carb Love. Again, her recipe link will be below this video. And be watching for the next video I'll be posting, which will be um, corned beef and hash made of uh, turnip instead of the potato for substitute. But love you guys.